friends, welcome to Chum Children Online Sunday School Videos. I'm Miss Katie and I am still having so much fun in our toy box. I have these two squishy toys with me today. Sometimes when I get a little nervous, I take these little toys and I squish them. You know what, whenever I squeeze really, really tight, they go right back to normal and it's okay. But. If we don't have squishy toys around, whoop, it's okay because we know that God is always with us. And I'm gonna ask you that question all video long. Friends, who is always with you? God is always with me and God is always with you, absolutely. And I think that we should celebrate the fact that God helps us do very big things by singing our song of the month. It's called Very Big Things. So let's go do it right now. There is nothing, nothing impossible No, there is nothing, nothing too difficult Because you're with, me, you're with me I am not afraid Nothing is too hard for you With you, I can do very big things God, with you, I can do very big things I know it's true I can do very big things You're with me, I know it's true I am feeling brave when you are with me. I am not afraid. God, you are with me. So I can be strong. Cause nothing is too hard for you. No. With you, I can do very big things. God, with you, I can do very big things. I know it's true. I can do very big things. You're with me. I know it's true. I can do that we've been able to sing and dance with this song all month long. I hope you have enjoyed it too. And I can't wait to see what next month's song is. If you wanna know what videos we're doing and what the theme is, I want you to stick around to the very end and I will be sure to tell you. I have a question, friends. Who is always with us? God is always with you and God is always with me. Absolutely. And I want us to practice our memory verse. It's the last time we're doing it for this month. I can't believe it. But just because we're doing this for the last time today, doesn't mean that I want you to stop practicing this memory verse or any of the others that we learn because it's really great to be able to have those pieces of the Bible in our hearts and in our brains. So. I'm gonna do the memory verse once through. You can follow along with me. And then we're gonna do it together one very final time. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Remember, it comes from 2 Chronicles. I always like to make sure that I remind you because it's a 
It's a word we don't use very often, chronicles. All right, here we go. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, eight. Let's do it together. One very last time. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, eight. We have a very special story of the Bible that I've really enjoyed getting to know since I was little. And it was about a woman named Esther. So there was this king, you know, the, the ruler of a country, and he wanted to get married to a beautiful woman whose name was Esther. You're right. And Esther really loved God. And we're going to hear a story about how God was with Esther, even when it was a little scary. So, Ollie, Clubhouse friends, take it away. Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Oh, hi there. I'm Manny. And I was just gathering these toys from around the clubhouse. And look, I'm so strong, I can hold this teddy bear and this robot. Look at all these toys I can hold. And more, and more, and more. Look at me, I'm so, so strong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, well, maybe I'm not that strong. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Picking up the toys, are you? I am, Ollie. I am super strong and can pick up all of these toys. Your arms can hold a lot of toys, it's true. But there are other ways to be strong, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Ooh. Follow me through, follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. All right, just one more twist ought to do it. <laughs> oh, hola friends, I'm Luis, the handyman. Look at this, it's an awesome weight rack I just finished putting together. See, you can put the weights on it to store them. <laughs> Lifting weights can make you strong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of strong, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a king. Looking everywhere for the most beautiful woman to be his queen. The king had his people search and search to find the perfect queen. Well, guess what? They found her. Her name was Esther. The king was so happy that they found her and they got married. Then there is this guy. His name is Haman. He worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, he had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that he should get rid of a whole group of people, God's people. When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't know that Haman's plan would hurt Esther's family and friends. Esther knew she could not let this happen. Esther loved God with all her heart, 
But going to the king to ask for his help would be scary. She knew she might get in big trouble for going to see the king without being invited. But Esther knew God was with her and that he would make her strong. So Esther asked the king if he would come to dinner. Then at dinner, Esther was strong enough to ask the king to stop Haman's mean plan and save her family and friends. The king said yes! He would save Esther's family and friends. God helped Esther be strong and courageous, and that saved the people. God was with Esther, and that helped her be strong. And God can help you be strong too, because he is always with you. <laughs> hey there, Ali. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you later. Adios. So there's your story. And it's all true. God helped Esther be strong. And God can help us be strong, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. God helped Esther be super strong and do the right thing. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you say got it, get it? Got it! Good! Using my arms to hold all these toys isn't the only way I can be strong. God can help me be strong on the inside too. Stay strong everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thanks friends. Wow. God helped Esther be super strong and do the right thing, which isn't always easy. I want you to show me your muscles right now. Oh, big and strong, big and strong. So I want you to remember that this week, that we can be strong like Esther. And I think this is a great time for us to pray and ask God to help us be strong. So let's close our eyes and quiet our hearts and talk to God right now. Dear God, I thank you so much for the time with us, friends, all this week and all this month and all the time I get to talk to them. God, it has been so great in the toy box learning about how you are always with us and will always take care of us. Thank you for this real true Bible story about Esther and helping us to remember that we can be strong because of you. Help us this week to remember that whenever we need a little extra strength. We love you, and it's in your name we pray. Say it nice and loud, friends. Amen. It has been so great getting to talk to you this month, and I'm super excited for next month, which is Super Kids. God made you to do very big things, and I can't wait to be superheroes with you. Remember, we post our videos every Friday at noon, so after Grown Up, whenever you can watch it, or if you want to watch it again. That'd make me very happy. But also, you doing all the amazing things in your life also makes me really happy. Friends, I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you, whether it's on the screen or in person. And I'll see you next month for Super Kids. Bye. Hey.